now let us see working of the scintillation detector that is here let us suppose a radiation is going to incident on scintillating material then what happens initially I am going to take this nuclear radiation as a gamma ray that is high photon I am going to take incident particle as a high energy photon when this high energy photon incident on the scintillating material then after incidenting on a scintillating material here we are going to observe that fluorescence process that is initially it is having a higher energy here I am going to show this is the energy level and these are the scintillating atoms when the high energy photon incident on this atom then it absorbs its complete energy and jumps to the higher energy states and again it comes back to the lower energy state by emitting a low energy photon that is initially it is having high energy and it is having low energy when atom absorbs complete energy of the photon and it excited to the higher energy state and it comes back to the ground state by emitting low energy photon this process we call it as a fluorescence here here also same the incident high energy photon is absorbed by the scintillating material atoms and this high energy photon instead of this when this high energy photon interacts with the scintillating material here low energy photons are going to produce this is initially it is having a high energy after interacting with scintillating material a low energy photon is emitted and this low energy photon then interact with the photocathode here this photocathode materials it consists of free electrons this photocathode element it consists of free electrons and this photon interacts with the one of the atom of the photocathode then here we are going to observe photoelectric effect that is let us suppose this is the atom this is nucleus here electron is revolving here when a photon incident on this electron here the electron absorbs complete energy of the photon and it emits from the atom this is the photoelectric effect here also same when this low energy photon interacts with the one of the atom it emits the electron and this emitted electron is going to incident on dynode that is D1 and here these dynodes are connected to the battery and D1 is connected to the 100 volt and for D2 200 volt is given and for D3 300 volt is given and for D4 400 volt is given here we can see that for every dynode there is increase in its potential energy when this ejected electron incident on the dynode here this electron again it is attracted to the second dynode because of high potential and here there are two electrons are going to emit when this electron incident on the D1 and similarly when these two electron incident on the dynode 2 then here four electrons are going to emit two electrons from the first one and two electrons from the second one and similarly when these electron incident on the dynode 3 again here from single electron here we are going to observe two electrons here also same
and here a anode is placed this is the anode and it is having a positive charge and finally here from d4 each electron is multiplied that is from each electron two electrons are emitted so from off and finally here a large number of electrons are going to incident on the anode and this shows the change in the potential difference and this change indicates the radiation detected by the scintillation detector in this way scintillation detector is going to detect the incident radiation and one more thing depending upon the type of radiation to be detected the scintillator material is selected for example for for the detection of alpha particles here we are going to use scintillating material as a zinc sulfate and for beta particles we are going to use scintillating material as a sodium iodide and for gamma radiations we are going to use scintillating material as a sodium iodide with trace of thallium these are the scintillating material depending upon the type of radiations these scintillating materials are used once again i will explain construction and working of the scintillation detector that is scintillation detector it consists of a scintillating material and after that it can it consists of a photocathode and photomultiplier tube and this photomultiplier tube it consists of a dynodes d1 d2 d3 d4 and here a increasing potential is applied to the dynodes and here when a nuclear radiation such as gamma which is having a high energy is going to incident on scintillating material and it is going to interact with these atoms when it interacts with these atom here we are going to observe a fluorescence effect that is the scintillating material atoms are going to absorb the incident photon and they excite to the higher energy state and again they come back to the ground state by emitting a low energy photon and this low energy photon is going to incident on the photocathode and this photocathode consists of a more number of electrons because of this when low energy photon incident on the photo photocathode here a electron is produced because of photoelectric effect and this emitted electron is going to attract towards the dynode d1 because it is having a positive potential when it incident on dynode d1 it is going to this single electron is going to emit a two electrons and again these two electrons are get attracted towards d2 dynode because here a higher potential is given to the dynode d2 and when these two electrons incident on d2 again these two electrons are going to produce a four electrons and again these four electrons are going to attracted towards the d3 because of higher potential and again these four electrons are going to produce eight electrons and these eight electrons again they are attracted towards the d4 because of high potential and again these eight electrons are going to convert into 16 electrons and finally all these electrons are going to incident on the anode and when all these electron incident on the anode finally a high amplified electric pulse emerges at the anode and these pulses are again these pulses are given to the sum of the electronic system and they are counted in this way we are going to detect the incident radiations